Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today I have for you a book tag, the Not a Booktube Newbie Tag. So hi everybody, like I said, my name is India and here on this channel I talk all things about books. I know it's been a bit so I might as well start off with a Not a Booktube Newbie Tag because, well, I'm not a booktube newbie, but I haven't been on booktube in a little bit, so I might as well start off with this. So, let's get started. The tag, the original tag is done by Shelby Masako over at Clever Fox. I will tag their channel down below as well as the link to the original video down below. Um, so make sure you check out the description box for all of that information. Okay, so question number one, how old is your channel? My channel is now four years old. Um, I didn't do anything for like my anniversary this summer of my channel, but it is now currently four years old, which is kind of wild to think about that I have been posting videos and content about books for four years now, but here we are doing it. Um, what are your favorite videos to make? Question number two. That is hard. Um, because sometimes I'm, you know, I'm going to be completely honest in this video. Sometimes I feel like I make videos just to post content just for you guys, um, more than I do it for myself. Um, but when I do make videos, I love doing discussion videos, um, about things that are going on in the community. I do a lot more of that, especially like my truly candid thoughts over off my Patreon, shameless plug for my Patreon. Um, so I do do a lot of that over there. Um, so just something to think about. Um, uh, but those are definitely my favorite videos to make. Um, I, I also enjoy doing tags because I never ever script my tags ahead of time. So whatever I can think of is what I'm going to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> um, so those are kind of my favorites. And then I still do wrap ups, um, which are great, especially for me, the lazy booktuber who does not read as much as others. Um, so a lot of times those can be really short for me. So that's also good content for me to make. Um, <laughs> Number three, <laughs> what is one piece of advice you would give to someone wanting to join booktube? Uh, my true piece of advice would be it is not all glitter and roses and sunshine. Um, you know, booktube is definitely not all that glitters is gold. Um, there's a lot of unnecessary drama in booktube that starts. Um, there is a high possibility you will be you will be canceled at one point in the booktube community, which is okay. That means people are watching your content. You take a break, you come back and you're like, you know what? These people are on the internet. I don't know them. <laughs> and so it's okay. Um, everything's going to be okay. I would say make the content you want to make. Um, I know a lot of people say just be yourself. I'm pretty sure when I did the tag, this tag a few years ago or a couple years ago, um, I definitely said just be yourself, but that's easier said than done. Um, you know, because you're like, but do people like myself? Like, I like me some days. Do other people like me? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Um, <laughs> so it's definitely easier said than done to be yourself, especially in front of a camera and, you know, to get people to subscribe and to like and to follow and to comment and all of that, you know, also don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below. Click the buttons. Um, it's definitely just a lot easier to say that, to say to be yourself than it is to actually be yourself. Um, and that's okay. You get more comfortable with it as time goes on than you do in the beginning of it. Um, so it is what it is. You'll make it work out for you and you'll find your group of people in the booktube realm that are your group of people who you talk to all the time about anything. So just keep pushing. Um, number four, since joining, have you run into any unforeseen challenges? <laughs> Um, of course I have. Um, I have been canceled many a time on booktube for my opinions on things. Not necessarily things that are based on fact that I got wrong, but literally on my opinion. And that's okay. Um, it, you know, it made me depressed. It made me angry. I had to go out into my backyard and shoot arrows into a target. Um, but I got through it. <laughs> 
Um, there are definitely some unforeseen, like, in terms of that. Um, but I definitely got, got through it and kept pushing. And, you know, I had many a people in my DMs and my messages, like, checking in on me and making sure I was okay. But all you can do is keep moving on and keep going and understanding that booktube is a part of your world and it's not your whole world. Um, that's when you start to kind of understand and you start to grow from that experience. Um, it has definitely helped me, I guess, in some aspects, um, which is why now I use Patreon to give you all of my unfiltered thoughts versus my current channel. Though, shit, I still be saying what I want to say over here. Like, y'all either going to watch it or you're not. Like, <laughs> what can I say? It is what it is. <laughs> Um, let's see. Number five. What is a favorite book slash series you've read because of booktube? Whoa. Um, so when I started booktube, I was all into fantasy, just YA fantasy. I read it all the time. I loved it. I still read it. I don't read it as much, um, which I'll talk about later. Um, but I definitely read Sarah J. Mass because of booktube. Like, I'm pretty sure if you start on booktube and you search anything on booktube, you're going to come up with Sarah J. Mass, Cassandra Clare, um, who else? Victoria Aveyard. Um, I'm trying to think of some other big ones. My main shelves are not down here. My main shelves are upstairs, but I didn't feel like setting up my tripod upstairs. Oh, Lee Bardugo. Um, and you're gonna read those books that way you are, or a lot of people are gonna read those books that way you are in the know of some things that happen over on book Twitter. So those are definitely some books that I've read because of booktube. Other ones are definitely some romances that I have read because of booktube and that list is getting so long that I don't even know where to start. So, but all, I track all of my reading on Goodreads, so there's that. <laughs> Um, overall, what is your favorite aspect about booktube? Um, I love reading. <laughs> so my favorite aspect about booktube is actually when people talk about books. Um, when people literally talk about books. I love watching people's wrap ups actually. And I actually really like watching reading blogs. I think a lot of people have been moving away from reading blogs or at least they haven't been popping up on my realm. Um, but I love watching reading blogs. Not when you guys are reading, like not when I, like if I sit in this chair all day and read in one spot, I don't like reading, that's boring. That's boring. Like I wanna know like a part of your life, like a part of your move, like where you're moving to. Um, so I really actually enjoy reading vlogs I enjoy watching vlogs in general studio vlogs reading vlogs art vlogs like I just like watching that um I mean the coffee making coffee and tea content is sometimes really repetitive and I'm like you guys don't make coffee like this so <laughs> if you guys watched me make coffee in the morning you'd be like what is that hobo doing in that house <laughs> I'd be like this hobo's becoming a person <laughs> with my coffee content so yeah um that is some of the things that I um love about booktube um I also really like the people that I've met and I've grown to love and exploring more I'm not gonna say more genres of booktube uh, exploring more authors um in the genres that I love like booktube does a great job booktube and bookstagram just does a great job of of bringing out and showing you more authors that you might not have just known about just wandering through your bookstore. Um, especially cause like I don't live near Barnes and Nobles now. I live near a neighborhood and indie bookstore. Um, so they don't, they have a lot of, they sometimes have new releases and, but they don't like a lot of times they won't have a whole series or something like that. So it's like, I have to know other authors too, but of course they'll order the books if I want it. Um, so just random thoughts. Sorry. Um, oof. Um, so, but there's a lot of aspects about booktube that I, I enjoy, which is why I'm still here. Um, I do like going to book cons. Um, I haven't been to the New York one cause that always just seems like a mess that brings up drama and it seems really expensive for what it is. Um, 
but some of the smaller ones like Decatur Book Festival here in Georgia I really like. I would love to go to Y'all Fest one year um, which isn't far from home. Um, I've gone to Booknet Fest a couple of times and have enjoyed that. Um, so um, and then I really get to meet some of you all in person and that also just really helps to um, with relationships and um, things like that. Ooh, want to sp um, question number seven, want to spread the book to love? Yes, great. Give at least one newbie a shout out. So ooh, I've done a terrible job of keeping up with um, booktube newbies. Um, so I used to do a series called Sunday shout outs. Um, so I will link that playlist up above where you all can go look at many of different booktube creators um, from romance to to um, I don't remember which all the categories I did, but I did a lot of different categories um, of booktube creators. So make sure you go check that out. Um, who do I tag? I will tag anybody and everybody down below in the description box. So make sure to go look at them as well um, and all of the content that they create. Um, well, guys, that's it for me for this not a booktube newbie tag. Um, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button. Don't forget to follow me on all of the social medias. And until next time, keep turning the pages.